In today's video, I'm going to show you three different journaling practices that you can set up in Tana, even if you failed at journaling in the past, like I have. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to build your personal digital systems around productivity, creativity, and knowledge. And today we're talking about journaling in Tana. And journaling is such a great way to get things out of your head, to record what's happening for you, either internally or externally, and generally kind of make sense of things. And I've always had this romanticized view of journaling. I imagine myself sitting down every morning with a leather bound journal and pouring out my heart. But in reality, I just really struggle to keep a consistent practice. So sitting down at a specific time every day to answer a bunch of pre-written questions doesn't really do it for me. I would try really hard and do it for a few days, maybe a few weeks, but eventually kind of fizzle out. That was until I started using Tana and I found a really simple way that works for me, that feels easy and that I can do at any time of the day. So in this video, I want to show you why Tana is the perfect app to start a journaling practice. We're going to get into three different ways that you can get started journaling in Tana. And then finally, I want to talk about why you should explore different methods and find the one that works for you. So let's get into it. So first, let's look at why Tana is actually the perfect app to get into journaling. Well, first, I think it's because Tana is actually a date first app. So when you first open Tana, you are immediately taken to your day page to get current on what's happening today. And that kind of just lends itself to recording what's happening on your day. So rather than kind of in other apps having to like create a day or create a journal entry in Tana, you're immediately there and you can just start writing. Second, Tana makes it so easy to add new entries. I prefer quick shot journaling, which I'm going to talk about a little later in this video. And it allows me to just quickly get things out of my head and then get back to what I need to be doing. And that has meant that I have a much more consistent journaling practice than I ever did when I had to sit down at a set time of the day and actually journal. And the final reason that I think Tana is the perfect app to start a journaling practice is that it's really easy just to tag something as a journal entry and be able to find it again later. So you don't really have to worry too much about the structure. It's already inbuilt and you can even use the built in AI features to do really fun stuff like query your journal entries or sum them up in some way or ask questions of what you were journaling on a particular day. I don't believe there's just one way to journal. And that's why in this video, I want to show you three different ways that you might get started with a journaling practice in Tana. Because when I tried to fit myself into the traditional way that you might journal, it just didn't work for me. So as we explore the different methods, see which one feels right, try it out, experiment with it, and really make it your own because that's how you're going to build a really consistent journaling practice. So the first way to do journaling in Tana is the easiest and quickest way to set up. It's the most flexible and it's great if you don't want to sit down at one specific time every day or you don't have the attention for that. I call it incremental journaling and it's my main way of doing journaling in Tana. All right, so to set this one up, what you want to do is you want to create a new field on your day page called daily journal. Uh, so just come to your day super tag and press configure and then add this. I add it to the top, just like it. Um, and then we're going to call this daily log or daily journal. And that's pretty much it. You can close that up. Now, anytime you want to add a new um, uh, journal entry to that page, all I do is I come here and I insert the time and I start writing my journal entry. And then if I want to do a new journal entry, I do the same thing, insert time and then keep writing. This is my preferred way of journaling. I have found that it has worked for me for over a year. I see the field as soon as I open up my day page in the morning. So it prompts me to create my first entry and then I'm on my day page throughout the day. So anytime I'm thinking of something, I'm stressed, I'm happy. Um, I want to make sense of something. I just come up to my daily log and create a new journal. And for me, this is just one of the easiest and quickest ways to get things out of my head without setting aside a specific time where I'm saying I'm going to journal. It kind of tricks my brain into journaling each and every day, all day. 
And it really has been the way that I've been able to keep the most consistency in my journaling practice. The second way that you can start to journal in Tana is very similar to the first, but rather than have a specific place where you go to add your journal entries, you can create a super tag that is called journal entry. And that allows you to really add things anywhere. And then you can collect all those journal entries together and see them all in one place. So we're going to create a daily journal super tag. So all we have to do is anywhere you are, you can just create a daily, uh, a new super tag. We're going to call ours um, daily journal. You might want to call yours journal, journal entry, whatever it is. But ours is going to be called daily journal. What you want to do is uh, right click on daily journal and press configure. And you're going to want to add a date to this. So we want um, a date field. Okay, now you might already have one. I'm going to do a totally new field and then click on this icon and then choose date. All right. And then what we want is we want to come down here and auto initialize this to the current date. So anytime we add an entry, I'm going to delete this one. Anytime we add a new journal entry and tag it, then it's always going to have today's date. And that means that you can use it in searches and be able to find these again really easily. Okay. Um, and then all you have to do, you can use the same kind of thing that you do up here. Um, so I could have insert time. Um, and this is my entry for right now. Okay. I'll type whatever. Now, uh, if I want to create a new one, then I'll do the same. I would go insert time. Uh, this is a new entry and then tag it. And so the other great benefit of this is that you don't have to be on your day page in order to add your journal entries into it. So you could be anywhere in Tana. Let's say I wasn't on the day page and you could just bring up quick add just by saying command E and type your journal entry as you would and then tag it. Oops, journal. Okay. We've got our daily journal add. And that's going to add it to your day page. So you can add journal entries from anywhere, but we might just want a place where we can bring all of those journal entries together on the day page. Okay. So for that, we want to come up and configure our day tag. So uh, just right click on that and press configure. That's going to bring up your configuration panel. We want to come here to template. And then what we're going to do, whoops, is we're going to come up here and we're going to create a search. Okay. So just, uh, go like this, uh, press search node, and then we want to find journal, daily journal. Okay. That's going to immediately bring up our daily journal. And all we want to do is add one more configuration to this search. So it only brings up a list of journal entries for that day. Okay. So we want to add a new field and you're going to come over into your, um, daily journal and just click anywhere inside the field where it says date and just copy it. Okay. So command C or control C if you're on windows, come up into this field and just press paste. Okay. Um, that's command V. Once you've done that, we want to type in this field. Now, um, because this is a date, we need to actually use the cursor to come down to this field and we want to type, oh, sorry, not today. We want to type parent. Okay. Now, um, it's going to throw a little, um, kind of, you know, funny thing at you saying this should be a date, but it's okay because when it comes over into your day page, it's going to insert that date in. Okay. Once we're done that, we're going to press done and then we're going to close this up. And so what that's created is a search that finds all journal entries created on that date. Now, the benefit of doing it this way is that you can literally be anywhere in Tana and add a journal entry uh, just by hitting command E, writing a journal entry, tagging it with, with the journal entry tag, and that's going to go straight into your day page. And so you don't have to kind of jump back into your day page every time you have a thought, you can just get it out of your head. The second benefit of doing this way is that you can have live searches that find all of your journal entries for today, for this week, for this month, for last month. And so if you're the kind of person who likes to review your journal entries, then this is probably the best way to get it set up. So the third way 
way that you can get started journaling in Tana is the more traditional way where you might have a structure or some prompts or some questions that you can answer every day. Um, and if you're more of a structured person, this may work better for you. Okay, so the way that we're gonna set up this third way to journal in Tana is we're going to still use our daily journal super tag, okay? We just want one because we're only gonna create one journal entry for the day. But what we wanna do is we wanna configure that with a few different prompts that we can go through at the beginning of each day or whenever you choose to journal. So um, come to your daily journal super tag and right click and configure it. And then what we wanna do is, now you can choose to use fields for this or you can just choose to, choose to use plain nodes. I'm just going to use plain nodes for this video. Now you will want to kind of create a list of all of your favorite journaling prompts. I'm going to put some random ones in here that I've used in the past. Um, and, uh, and so that's all you have to do. If you add them as a node here, then if we close this up and we open up our journal entry, now we have all of these nodes. And let's say we're just going to call this um, today's journal entry. And all you have to do then is like you would normally do, open up each of these and start to create your journal. Okay, so what will make today great, you're gonna put that in and then uh, you're gonna um, talk about you know what you're grateful for and what are 10 things that bring you joy. And so that then becomes your daily journal entry. And that's really more of a traditional way that you might do journaling. It's not the way that I do it, but I wanted to show it to you anyway, because this is about finding a practice that is right for you. So that's three ways that you can get started with a journaling practice in Tana, but remember there's no right or wrong way to do journaling. So explore these methods, try them out, experiment with them, but eventually find something that works for you that you can keep consistent at. Now, if you like this video and you wanna find out how to use Tana even more as a wellbeing tool, then you might like this next video on how to track your wellbeing activities in Tana. And of course, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe because I create videos like this every week to help you level up your Tana.